He's like shaking his butt at him. You're like, no! You know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Tom. We're back here with Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1 Episode 16. Tom, last episode, Aang was a little selfish. He was. We kind of saw for the first time a possible hint of Sokka and Katara's dad. Yeah, and uh, he, he chose because he was afraid, he was insecure about their friendships and his place in the hierarchy. He, he hid that information, which I think was kind of shitty. Yeah, meanwhile... Uh, He's getting hunted by this bounty hunter. I believe her name's June. June, Juno, something like that. I, I actually can't remember, but I, I know you're right about that. But he, Aang was able to redeem himself in the end. Yeah. Have you ever been, I'll say, a bad friend? Have you ever been a little bit of selfish? I think with your needs. Your all the friend? time. I think. I'm joking. Not all the time, but yeah. I, I mean, it's. I have a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> Just I remember high school, like you know. Sometimes if we if we want that you know we would be selfish a little bit, yeah, but I think generally we had a pretty good brotherhood. Don't you think? Yeah, we had a group of close friends. There were like five or six of us in our immediate yeah circle, and yeah, we inherited school, so. a few other stragglers. They yeah. came in, and they come in and out. <laughs> you know, I just remember when I won't say her name, but I, I met her at the mall, and I, I got her number, and I was taking forever. You yeah, damn it, shit! You grabbed, you threw out the window, and said, "Oh fucking shit!" Dude, a week later, you were hanging out with this girl. <laughs> you found her on a... I don't know what you did. <laughs> I don't know. You... I don't remember, honestly. You remember who it is. I remember who it is. I don't remember how... Well, you did, but I'll say you ended up dating her for a long, long time, kind of. For a while, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I think Aang's a much better guy than we are. <laughs> you know? that right. By the way, make sure you say hi to Tom. Make sure you guys check out Ninja Turtles mm -hmm. and some of the other things that we do together. And hopefully the sound is better. This is our first avatar in our new setup. So let us know what you think below, guys. Anyways, let's jump in. This should give us a good idea what's around here. See if you can find a menu. I'm starving. I bet we'll find something to eat here. The Fire Days Festival. This would be a great place for me to study some real firebenders. Hey, a poster of me. A wanted, wanted poster. poster. Yeah. This is bad. <clears throat> I think we better keep moving. What? You want to walk into a Fire Nation town when they're all fired up with all their, you know, fire? We'll wear disguises. And if it looks like trouble, we'll leave. Yeah. Because we always leave before we get into trouble. Mm hmm. Yeah. Sokka's relatively sensible, I have to say. Who is that man? I have a good feeling about this. Who's that? That's an asshole. Pervert. Probably. Jerkin is gherkin back there behind the tree. <laughs> that works perfectly, dude. This mask kind of freaked me out. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, loyal citizens. No one can surprise the Fire Lord. He's like they're indoctrinating these little kids. Yeah. I want to get a closer look. It's better that we don't attract any attention to ourselves. How about you, little lady? Uh, oh, she's shy. Oh, that could have been me. <laughs> that little <laughs> pervert. <laughs> Idiot. Hey, that kid's the Avatar. Oh my gosh, Hey, that was a... how stupid could you be? Yeah, fuck, it's stupid, dude. I can get you out of here. There they are. He's gonna be jerking his girlfriend behind there. <laughs> Ninja vanish. Remember, Assassin's Creed, you start running. I'm calling up. Pushing your way through people. I hope we can really out. hear that bison whistle. This yeah. way. I remember when I was at E3 at Comic Con, there was someone there dressed as Ezio, I think. He's walking through the crowd going, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Fireworks. Do you like fireworks? Yeah, we're talking about fireworks. Down here. really know your explosives I'm familiar you're a fire nation soldier was my name's Jay Jay I don't trust some guy whose name is a letter a living legend Jong Jong the deserter he was a fire nation general but wait was he an admiral he was very highly ranked we get it Jong Jong's a fire bending genius some say he's mad but he's not. He's enlightened. You mean there's a firebender out here who's not with the Fire Lord? We've got to go see him. He can train me. We're not going to go find some crazy firebender. He's not crazy. He's a genius. And he's the perfect person to train the Avatar. That's why I followed you into the festival. It can't hurt just to talk to him. That's what you said about going to the festival. Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Right. <laughs> Jung Jung told you not to look for Avatar. Hold on, you know these guys? Oh yeah, Lin Yi's an old buddy. Aang would be able to tear these guys up. Yeah, I, I think I think I mean it's obviously convenient for the story, but so the Avatar he chooses was here. When you let him slip away. Yes, sir. But other than that, the festival went off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> the fight? That was way out. Which way did they go? They headed into the forest, up the river, I suspect. Ready the river boats. We're going after the Avatar. What happened? Can I see Jong Jong now? He won't see you. He's very angry that I brought you here. He wants you to leave immediately. Finally! Let's hit the road. Why won't he see me? He says you're not ready. Wait, how does he know that? He saw the way you walked into camp. He can tell. I'm going in anyway. Maybe it's that real old dude. It was on the poster. Um, huh? Get out. Master, I need to learn firebending. I'm the Avatar. It's my destiny to- Destiny? What would a boy know of destiny? If a fish lived its whole life in this river, does he know the river's destiny? No. Okay. But it's the Avatar's duty to master all of the bending disciplines. To master the bending disciplines, you must first master discipline itself. Are you deaf? How can I teach you if you refuse to listen? Before learning firebending, you must learn water and earth. Water is cool and soothing. Earth is steady and stable. But fire, fire is alive. It breathes, it grows. Without the bender, a rock will not throw itself. But fire will spread and destroy everything in its path if one does not have the will to control it. You are too weak. Okay. You think I am weak? Avatar Roku. No, no, I did not mean that. I have mastered the elements a thousand times in a thousand lifetimes. Now, I must do it once again. You will teach the Avatar firebending. Yes, yes. The Kenobi talking to Yoda. What in your stance? Wider. Bend your knees. Now concentrate. Good. Good. Wait, what do I do now? Concentrate hard. Talking is not concentrating. But what am I concentrating on? Feel the heat of the sun. It is the greatest source of fire, yet it is in complete balance with nature. We need to have you react to the Kill Bill movies. This guy reminds me of My Pie, I think is his name. Power in fire bending comes from the breath. That is why you must master proper breath control. You brought me up here to breathe? Assume your stance. Wider. They're not even looking. <laughs> what? what are you doing here? I did not tell you to stop. 
I've been breathing for hours. You want to stop breathing? I want you to stop wasting my time. <laughs> I already know how to squat and breathe and feel the sun. I had a pupil once who had no interest in learning discipline. He was only concerned with the power of fire. How he could use it to destroy his opponents and wipe out the obstacles. Fire is a horrible burden to bear. Its nature is to consume it, and without control, it destroys everything around it. Rush Hour 4 is in development, man. I saw that. I thought about what you said. I promise I'll be more patient. We are going to work with fire now. Oh, yeah. He looks like he's young, kind of. on the fire. Just with gray hair. I want you to keep this flame from reaching the edges of the leaf for as long as you can. Master, there is trouble. What's going on? Concentrate on your leaf. This is the worst firebending instruction ever. All he does is leave me alone for hours to concentrate or breathe. Control, control. Must learn control. I did it! I made fire! Hey, that's great, but you should take it slow. Hey, you'll hurt yourself. That? around with this look what you did you burned my uh -oh. oh that sucks look at her hands ah oh, and you foolish child yeah dude I... zach would say you <laughs> you fool i know now pack your things you must leave immediately i'm sorry i didn't i'm sorry Dude, that's not good. That's gonna. Yeah, I mean, you probably obviously burn yourself on the stove or by accident a few times. The burns are the worst, man. Yeah. You have healing abilities. But you're a great master. You have powers I'll never know. Water brings healing and life. But fire brings only destruction and pain. Go get your friends and flee! Do not come back here, or you will all be destroyed! Hurry! Like Dragonheart. Master Zhang Zhang. Katara, are you alright? I'm fine. We've got to get out of here. Where's Aang? Zhang Zhang tried to tell me that I wasn't ready. I wouldn't listen. I'm never gonna firebend again. You'll have to eventually. But right now, we have to get out of here. Zhao and his soldiers are attacking. Where? By the river. They captured Zhang Zhang. I have to help him. That title will not help you against the Avatar. Do not try to fight him. You are no match. I think I can handle a child. I have never seen. Trick! He's run off into the woods. Let's find out what my old master has taught me. You were Zhang Zhang students? Until I got bored. This is such a Star Wars thing. And I'm looking forward to this. I fight. see he taught you how to duck and run like a coward. But I doubt he showed you what a firebender is truly capable of. Oh. Ah! 
So blood drunk that you don't see that you're. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Have a nice walk home. Hey, come on, let's go. Uh, Where's Jay. Jong Jong? Jay. He disappeared. They all did. You gotta go find him. Aang, you're burned. That's good water. When did you learn how to do that? I guess I always knew. Oh, well then thanks for all the first aid over the years. Right. When I fell into the grease fire bramble, and that time I had two fish hooks in my thumb. Guys, that was a reaction. This is our discussion. I obviously have reacted to the show before at, at my old YouTube channel. Taking Tom through for the first time. I think I remember not being like super, super in love with this episode. It, it was an okay episode, but for me, I wanted more... You know, and obviously the story's not over. I wanted more from Master Zhang Zhang. What, what about you? Like, you know, he, I think he taught, I think he instilled a couple valuable things in Aang, but I wanted more, like, training. He did. He stirred something in me where there was a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Yeah. Uh, back in his prime when he was making all those good movies. I can't remember which one it is, but there was always something I liked about the idea of this person going off to some remote place and being trained by this, this great... Asian master of a particular craft and yeah. being out in that remote wilderness and very primitive formal, you know, training. Yeah. And uh, I that just kind of stirred that back. But yeah, I would have liked to have seen a little more. I don't know if you know my love for Dragonheart or if you've ever even seen Dragonheart. I never have, no. It's one of my favorite movies. But th there's one of those dynamics in there as well. And just the way he, literally in Dragonheart, uh, a certain character gets off his horse and into the water and walks towards his former master and like in that literally kind of happened here obviously like the fact that he can trick Admiral Zhao I mean I know for its target audience it works real well but when I'm watching it with you it's just like that motherfucker Admiral ass Zhao got <laughs> you know he just he got tricked you know what I'm saying he's just like ah you know what I mean so I was a little I feel like Katara being able to heal is like a really, really big deal, and they just kind of introduced it very nonchalantly. Like, oh, by the way, she can heal. Well, I, I like that it was realized by kind of Master Zhang Zhang. It was like, oh, you can do this because all the you know, the water tribes have been able to heal in the past. So it's like he's enlightening towards uh, lightning, enlightening for her as well. And I thought it was cool that he admired her for that, even though he's this ex you know, fire soldier who's yeah. this great master of yeah. an element and he still recognizes the importance of that. And one of the notes that I have talks about when they're at the festival at the beginning of the episode, I, sometimes I forget that in the Fire Nation there's still like regular, normal, everyday, like villager people who are just going about their business, yeah. trying to earn an income for their family, and it's it's the, it's the kids. imperial regime. Yeah, they're evil. Right, just yeah. trying to raise their kids and everything. And I, I, it took me a minute. I was like, oh wait a minute, you know, they're not all Fire Nation people are these evil. And it's also like, I mean, it's like the Death Star, like you know, all, a lot of the Imperials who are working on that 
uh, on that battle station, they're just some of they're just people. Yeah. Some are just people working in a mess hall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you may, okay, so you did watch Andor, right? Yes. So do you remember in that one episode, the Eye of okay, whatever the Eye of whatever, and it's that heist episode, and you see the Imperial commander and his family stationed there with him. Yep. So how many Imperials had their children and their wives in stationed there, and they weren't evil? They were just you know they like their Basically dad, like contractors working yeah. for the Empire. Yeah. So it's just. It's weird to think about. Right. I, I don't have anything else, though. So, so let's jump into the next one, guys. And when can they go? How can they go there, Tom? Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> you did it. You went Patreon. Guys, you heard them. Patreon. We have two week early access, so the next two are on there now. You don't want to miss them. They're pretty exciting. Also, make sure, make sure you leave a comment down below. It's a great way to help the channel. And maybe click that thanks button. All right? We're out of here.